It's important also that you distinguish between attraction versus relationships. So everything I'm talking about in this series called How to Get Laid is basically what I would call attraction. This is not relationship advice. And how you act and the game that you use to get attraction is not something you got to be running inside of a relationship. <laughs> People get this wrong. So what I mean by the attraction is basically I'm talking about from the point where you meet her to the point where you sleep with her the first time. That entire thing I'm going to call like the attraction phase of your interaction with a woman. Um, so this attraction phase includes the attraction, the rapport, and the seduction all the way up to first sex. Then after first sex, and then really multiple times of sex, then it starts to get into relationship territory. There is no relationship without sex. So um, once she has sex with you, the entire dynamic flips around. Because the problem, before she has sex with you, she's not invested in you at all. She has no loyalty to you at all. She will likely not return your phone calls or your texts. She doesn't care about you at all, basically, until sex. Once sex happens, now she's invested in you. Now she cares. Now you can convert that into a girlfriend situation, into a real relationship, especially after you have sex with her multiple times. Once that happens, you don't need to keep running some sort of crazy, elaborate game on her. You can relax and chill out a little bit and just kind of trust that things will go fine. And just there, then we transition into relationship advice. Relationship advice is a whole different can of worms. I'm going to have videos specifically on relationship advice and how to handle that stuff. There's a totally different set of challenges there that have nothing to do with, with game, pretty much. Um, the reason we got to run game is to spark her emotions because otherwise she's too logical to have sex with you. Women do not have sex based on logic. They have sex based on emotions. So even though you're a, you, you could be an amazing guy, you could even want to pay for her. You could even want to support her. You could even want to have children with her. You could want to be the best boyfriend in the world to her. But none of that matters to her unless you stimulate her emotions enough for her to get have to have sex with you. And then she's invested. Until then, she's not invested in you. So to do that, we got to get you out of your logical head and we got to get you approaching and we got to get you physically escalating and taking the lead and being assertive and having strong eye contact and good vocal tonality and good body posture and some flirting skills and knowing how to lead and how to pull and how to close, all these things. And then you can have your relationship and in the relationship you can have love and all this beautiful stuff, romance. Yes, relationships are awesome. I'm not against relationships at all, but to have that relationship, first you gotta attract the girl.